I shall explain the role of layout and view start files in an MVC project. By default, this is the location of the layout file. Inside shared folder. And yours would be looking like this. Mostly like an HTML page. A typical MVC project consists of a number of action methods and related view files. In this example, I have views like index, reports, etc. If you noticed so far, these views do not contain the complete HTML for a page. They seem to contain to the point HTML, relevant one. Where does the enclosing HTML come from? The answer lies in the layout file, the one which your project always contained. It can contain HTML for header, footer. The content in these pages simply merges into the layout file. It merges just in time when the respective action method is called. It helps write a modular website. A layout file acts like a master page containing static portions of a page. These views contain the Razor Mixed Dynamic content. Now see the layout file with its HTML, head, meta tags. This is title of a page, it's picked from view bag on each view. This one. This is a special method of including CSS slash JS files. Don't worry about it for now. I'll discuss it in a later lecture. This marks the area where the HTML from the views fits in, render body. And these are the included jQuery and scripts. I'll talk about these in a later lecture. This is our view containing to the point HTML. Let's run and see the source. The CSS and JS files, head, HTML tags are all there, intact. This is the HTML from the view, the one from render body. And this is the jQuery link. To make the things even more clear let me put some border around the layout. This red border.
and here come the header and footer divideds. I have given them bright colors for visibility. Here they are, with index view sandwiched. To make things even more clear I'll add a border here too. Now things should be clear. Coming to the view start file, how does a view get hooked to the layout file? The view start file rests here. This is the path which your views read and get connected to their layout file. You might be wondering about a practical use of all this. One use is to detect a browser and serve a different layout. You can use an if condition to hook to another layout. Thank you.